right? So think about this. What's your purpose for dating? So for you, before you have a relationship, when you're, when you're in that dating phase, determine what your purpose is. If you've just opened up an app and you're on it, you've got your profile set up and you're meeting people through it, what's your purpose? Is your purpose to find a life partner? Is your purpose to have people to bring to weddings? That's fine. Is your, is your purpose to just have fun? If you're dating for fun, great, cool. But that's a totally different thing than dating to find a life partner, dating to find somebody who you actually want to build something with. And if you're doing that and you're showing up as only a little fraction of yourself and saying, eh, this, this person's good enough to meet this one fraction of me, okay, but don't marry them. <laughs> don't make them, don't build your life around them because you are setting yourself up for disaster. I like what you talk about dating, you know, like you should know what you're going into the date for. And you should, you know, if you say you're going dating to meet a life partner, then also there's a fine line between then having too many prerequisites because people also do that. Yes. They <laughs> Yes, I have people, I, I have a very specific exercise I have people do. I have people make a list of 50 things that they, that they want in a partner and 50 things that they absolutely don't want. And then we winnow that list down until they get down to the five things that they absolutely want and the five things that are total deal breakers. That's it. You cannot prescript exactly who you're going to find. I... And that annoys me as a person who likes to have a lot of choices. That annoys me. But if we get too prescriptive, we're never going to find a partner. Instead, it's about knowing what your deal breakers are, your actual deal breakers. Cut those people loose. If you have a deal breaker, say, around, oh, it could be anything around a religious commitment or around smoking or around what, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is, you're allowed to have that preference. But if you put a list of 50 things out there, and then you, on top of it, want to find somebody who wants to build a life built on purpose and vision. Um, I think you might actually want to be on your own for now. And that's okay. Date for fun then. That's totally fine. But when you're dating for fun, know that that's what you're doing. Commit to that. And that's, that's great. Just enjoy it. And, and then that becomes the issue because... For me, for example, as I'm busy and traveling, I'm doing so much. And if I'm going on dates and I'm meeting guys that are just because also people would that want to date for fun do not put it out there that they want to date for fun. Right. They put the, they make the profile all seem like they they want to get serious. So then you know you have this clash of daters where half of them are saying they want to get serious, and the other half are just and the you know and people just get turned off by the whole thing. Right. This is a huge problem in modern dating because we have we have half the culture who's saying, like, all I want is hookup and half the culture who's saying, all I want is a life partner. There is a lot of room in the middle there where we could be enjoying each other's company and learning and growing from having some some middle midterm relationships with each other. Um, so I like to think about dating the same way I think about friendships. Think about friendship first. Um, and you know, if you're having sex with these people, fine, make sure that you're doing it in a way that's actually enjoyable to you and great, that's fine. But don't put so much pressure on trying to find the one that like, if you put that much pressure on it, but what you actually want is to focus on yourself. Yeah, it's not reasonable. And you know what? There's one of the first myths we can set down. It's okay to not want a life partner right now. It's okay to be like, you know what? I'm pretty happy with myself. I'm my first partner for now. Maybe I'll change my mind in a year or five years, but for right now, I'm happy like this. And then you can think about these dates that you're going on as their friendships. They're opportunities to get to know people because it's fun to get to know new people. And if you happen to stumble across somebody who you're like, wow, wow, okay, I could maybe build something with them. Okay, now you're now you're in a place to have a conversation from from your heart, from like, wow, okay, I'm I'm having a conversation with myself about I think, I think maybe there's something more here. Um, that's very important. Um, it's, I mean, one thing I've got from this whole conversation is that you have to be really, really, really precise about what you want. I mean, not too precise, but you have to know what you're going into anything for. Otherwise, it's like 
as you said, it's like building a company. Otherwise, you're wasting your time. Right. But I think you also have to be ready to give people a chance. Right. Because sometimes, you know, it's like a flower. You meet this person and things blossom and you find out a lot more about them. So there's that fine line. Yeah. Between, you know, just saying this is, yeah. Yeah. So how does one deal with that? Well, you know, we could all stand, I think, myself included, to allow ourselves to be in the not knowing, not having an answer for everything. And so this is where I think we can get clear about what we have availability for. You know, if if I have, say, six hours a week that I'm willing to devote to to dating and friendship, then be clear about that. Like, that's what I've got right now. And think about the, like, the way that you're framing that. It's not that you're not willing to meet people, like that, but that's how much availability you have. And yet, yeah, leave yourself. This is, this is a deep question, actually, Amanda. Can you allow yourself to be open to change, which could configure, reconfigure your whole life, while also actually stating your boundaries and your goals? But that's the mess of being a human. We're alive and we're human and it's messy. And sometimes you're going to come across just the right person and the timing isn't quite right. That's your decision point where you're like, wow, okay, which, which way am I going to go? I like what you're saying because what you're saying is also one of those things where, for example, I'm a person that I don't even bother dating. I'm so busy and I have so many friends and friends of friends and I have so many things to do in my life. I just don't even... Yeah. It's not something that's important to me at this moment in my life. But on the other hand, the joy of dating, because from what you're saying, if you are going through these dates and you know what you're looking for, you're very precise. And But also you have to have a certain air of confidence about you because the rejection factor for a lot of people, they don't like it because I feel like some people go on in the, you know, they meet a date, they know he or she's not right, but they continue it just to make themselves feel better. Yes. Brilliant. Okay. Or to make the other person feel better. Yes. You just called out a huge, huge, this is a place where we have such capacity to grow and develop mm-hmm. as people. If you can recognize when you're dating to get your self-worth needs met, you, well, like that is a huge discovery. You could, you could go to therapy for years to try to discover that, right? What if you use your actual life to show you what you're doing? Be real. After you go on a date, get real with yourself for 15 minutes and you're in your journal afterwards saying, what did I do? Was that, was that actually me? What, how am I showing up? And (sighs) was I just on that date to, to show myself that I'm attractive, that I'm worthy? Was I looking for external validation of my worthiness? And if you are, is that really what you want to be doing? Or do you want to start digging into that question of build, like build your self-worth from within. Mm, So you're not looking for it out there. 